Okay, the next point we have up is the death of a civil servant. so angry. No, I have to explain. I have to go back. General, your excellency, if I may trouble your excellency, if I may say <coughs> it is from duty and the necessity to speak to you that I could have done something. I could have taken a bit of laudanum the night before. I could have gotten a better night's sleep. Uh, I am just terribly sorry, your excellency. Are you trying to be No. Uh, I, I, I must say, of course not. If he's going to be so snooty about it, then maybe I won't apologize. Yes, that's it. But I won't apologize. But I must explain. I am a civil servant. He must know that I didn't mean it. Uh, General, I am not trying to be funny. I want to apologize. It did not occur to me that I make jokes. How could I dare to laugh? If we all laughed at each other, there would be no respect left for anyone in this world. <laughs> Out. Uh, what?
According to an old man, some <laughs> civil servant died from a horrible sneeze. Maybe Clocken will catch this terrible sneezing malady. I'll be sure to be bookkeeper then. <laughs> Today, Gravsky's wife walked out in the most scandalous dress in all of Russia. The whole town could see her ankles. What in the <laughs> The old man recommended I take a cold bath with honey and spirits for my guitar. I cannot afford honey. I shall just double the spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Oh, oh I, 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 I have it. Is that it? Oh, where's it? Now we're missing Annie. I like you. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you please, sir, there's this lady wants to speak with you. She's been waiting a good hour. To hell with her. Tell her I'm busy. Well, tell her I'm busy. She's been here four times already, sir. She must speak with you. Almost in tears she is. I'll bring her in. I'm sure you don't remember me, but we met at Kresky's. My name is Mercina, and there, do you remember that one night? Very well. Take a seat. Well, you won't remember me, but I love your work. Please don't think that I need to flatter you. I just truly enjoy your writing. I'm not a complete stranger to authorship myself. <laughs> and to say, I never dare call myself a writer. Knowing your talents and your views, Pavel Vasilyevich, I would like to find out your opinion or or seek your advice. Oh God! I must tell you that I have recently brought forth a drama. <laughs> Look at the size of that book! I should like to have your opinion on it before sending it to the censor. Oh no no no! Very very well. Leave it with me. I'll read it. <coughs> I know how busy you are, how every minute is precious to you, and I know that in your heart of hearts you must be cursing me at this moment. But please let me be able to read my drama out loud to you right now. <laughs> oh, oh, hell no! <laughs> Has no aim in life and longs for his own death. Sounds like something Chekhov would write. <laughs> Why do you have to pick on me? Look at the size of that book. Why do I have to listen to this crap? Huh. That's right, my, my life wanted to be to buy four yards of braid, a pound of cheese, and some toothpaste. <laughs> I, I, I hope I haven't lost the sample for the braid. Where did I put it? I think, I think my blue jacket. God damn it. Those flies have shat all over her portrait again. <laughs> Funny how that happens. I'll need to have Olga wipe the glass. <laughs> uh, lie to her. Lie to her. No, indeed. Not in the least. Anna, analysis has eaten your soul. You have too soon ceased living by the heart and put all your faith in the intellect. Valentine, what do you mean by the heart? It's a concept in anatomy. It means nothing to me. <laughs> is love then nothing? Have you never loved? <laughs> Vanity, don't open old wounds. Anna, you should be happy. Yeah, because he's stuck in your stupid play. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, at least pretend like you're listening. <laughs> oh my god, scene 17? When is this going to end? <laughs> 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 Pardon me for interrupting, but how many acts are there all together? Five. Oh. Valentine is looking out a window in the school. Oh, 
I am condemned for eternity. I give up. I can't even begin to contemplate a future in which this woman has stopped talking to me. <laughs> Damn. I forgot to take my pills. I'll probably have an ulcer. Lovanovsky <laughs> guzzles vodka all day and his stomach's fine. Look! A bird! <laughs> Shut up. I guess the Mavs won in the middle of the play. <laughs> they lost. What's the score? Did you give a presentation uh, to the start the Oh! All right, I'm going to bring you in. OK. And now, I notes from the diary of an assistant bookkeeper. 4th of June, 1878. According to the papers, there is plague in Betlyanka. People going down like nine pins, they say. Lockin's taking pepper brandy on account of it. Well, pepper brandy is hardly going to be much help to a man his age. If the plague comes, I'm sure to be bookkeeper. Also, according to the papers, Grabsky's writer friend Pavel was taken to court for his commentary on a young woman's play. He was acquitted. Thank <laughs> you. 